Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pop Culture in the Closet! I am your host Reggie. And I am your host Nick. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's just we get did. right into it. Let's do that. Amsterdam released this weekend to an overall negative reception. Which is unfortunate due to the talent in front and behind the camera. CD Projekt Red announced the new Witcher trilogy with codenames Polaris, Canis Majoris, and... Serious. <laughs> that wasn't a very serious way to say it, Nick. Uh, CDPR also announced a full-fledged sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, codenamed Orion, which I, for one, am very excited for because Edge Runners just completely pop off a couple weeks ago, and the massive improvements made to the first game. The Rings of Power season two has already begun filming in the UK. The newest Hellraiser movie also released on Hulu this weekend, serving as an excellent return to form for the franchise. Avengers Secret Wars has brought on the writers of Doctor Strange 2 and Loki. My Hero Academia Season 6 just premiered this last weekend. It's, it's so good. Charlie Puth released his self-titled album, Charlie, this weekend. It sucked. Lyle Lyle Crocodile, starring Shawn Mendes, released this weekend with mixed to negative reviews. This isn't what Paddington died for! All Time Low released a new single titled Sleepwalking this weekend. For the fans of All Time Low, or just Pop Punk in general, this is a fantastic single. The Minecraft Live mod vote was released this week with The Sniffer, Rascal, and Tough Golem. The Sniffer adds new plants to the game and adds another layer of things to find in the ocean. The Rascal plays hide and seek and if you find it three times you get a cool item. And the Tough Golem looks really cute and can pick up items and move them around your house or other places and it's gonna be adorable. Werewolf by Night released on Disney Plus this weekend. This guy was too lazy to stay up until midnight to watch it like I did and I gotta say this is by far one of my favorite MCU properties who have come out since Avengers Endgame. Daredevil returns to the MCU in the latest and by far the greatest, greatest She-Hulk episode. And finally, our last announcement of the day, the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer has released. Alongside a brand new poster. So what did you think about the trailer? It was pretty good. I'm probably gonna watch the movie the second it comes out. Yeah, honestly, why does it look good? Hey Ben, do you think I can come in here for a second? What? What did you think about the Mario movie trailer? Uh, let me just get down here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I thought it was actually good. Why uh, does it look good? Oh, it. Uh, it <laughs> looks good. It looks good actually because I don't yeah. know. It just looks good. Yeah. But it do it does have uh, Chris Pratt as uh, it's a me Mario. Why does his voice actually fit? I um, don't know. Um, also, um, the Mario movie is officially an isekai, which is really funny. A what? An isekai. Also, it got Jack Black as Bowser. Also, Dream revealed his face, and uh, Overwatch 2 came out, and it's really fun, except for the coup times are ridiculous. It took me an hour to play one match. Okay, bye. Well, that's all the time that we have for Pop Culture in the Closet today. I am Reggie. And I am Nick. We'll see you next week. I'm also Ben.